life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. A lot of people wonder why some people, you know, get ahead, why they're always getting a raise every single year, why they're always in a better situation year after year, and others struggle specifically financially. And in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover why that is. And by the end of it, I wanna share with you what it takes to actually solidify true security in the world we live in today because so many people, especially the average Joe, is walking around with the wrong definition for security. Security defined, the state of being free from danger or threat. So when you have little Timmy over there that's clocking in for his job and he's doing the same thing every single day, he's at risk of being replaced by a robot, by AI, by somebody younger who will work for less hours. And you have to ask yourself, is that really security? Is that actually security? Now, how about little Timmy who clocks in and does everything he's supposed to do and he does the absolute bare minimum? Is he more likely to be replaced by little Susie who will you know, stay late, show up a little early, maybe she's going to the boss's house on the weekends to make sure she's doing everything possible to get that raise. I mean, you can answer the question for yourself. What the point is, is that I learned this the hard way and I think what really opened my eyes was going to an Ivy League school because to get into an Ivy League school, I didn't work hard and I studied to get good grades. But I realized there are real overachievers out there in the world who actually go above and beyond. And when I say above and beyond, I mean like they absolutely crush it and they make you look like an amateur. And the truth is this exists in every single industry in the world. So the only option that you're left with to really create security is to commit to a life of skill stack. This means stacking skills that are essential to you to be considered a master. And by committing to mastery, you'll actually have a fighting chance. Everything else will leave you with a half-lived life and without true security. In fact, you know, a lot of people, when they look at the definition of security, when you look at like the greats, people that accomplish something, or people that went through tons of adversity, they, they see life from this other perspective. For example, Helen Keller, who was blind and deaf, and you know, she did some amazing things in her lifetime. She actually said this quote that I really like, and, I, and it resonates with me. Security does not exist in nature, nor do the children of men as a whole experience it. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. And I'm going to tell you what I've realized, the real way to security is through confidence, confidence defined, having the necessary ability, knowledge, or skill to do something successful. When you get results and you're able to actually go out there and get the job done, that is how you increase your levels of security, not a degree or a piece of paper or, you know, you being really good friends with your boss. None of that will work in the long run. And a lot of this comes down to education. And this is where most people go wrong. Education doesn't end in high school. It doesn't end in college. It doesn't end when you get your master's or you, even if you become a doctor. It's actually the beginning. And this is what I discovered the hard way because I watched people, they got really good college degrees, beg for a job. I watched people who were with companies, you know, for years and years and years, eventually get replaced because they stopped learning and they fell into complacency. Meaning that you, if you stop learning, you're putting yourself at risk of being replaced. You're more likely to get replaced by someone who, again, is younger, will work for less money and in the future AI I'm telling you it's coming for you so the thing that you need to do is develop the skill sets that lead to true security and the ones that have true security will have true skill sets true skill sets allow you to get the result and improve the purpose of the business so we need to ask ourselves this question what is the purpose of every single business and the purpose of every single business is to increase the amount of money it makes in a profitable way no matter what you're looking at that is the purpose of a business so every single role is connected to this common goal and this purpose. If you're in marketing, you increase the awareness and generate more interest. If you're in sales, you go out there and get more sales and more customers. If you're in finance, you ensure that clients pay on time. You make sure that you know the bills are all paid and that we're not blowing money on things that you know are a waste, right? If you're in customer service, you deliver to clients in a way that makes them satisfied and in a way that makes them want to come back and spend more money, right? So if you look at literally every single part of the company, it's connected to 
to this common purpose. And that is why people go about this the complete wrong way. They're asking the question of their boss, hey, how can I get paid more? Can I get a raise? And instead they need to ask the question of this, how do I add more value to the company that makes it more money so that I can get paid more? And this is a lot of the universe. And what happens is if you don't get in alignment with this, you're actually gonna go ahead and be going against a counter intention to the intention and purpose of the business. And what you'll find is there's those people in companies that complain about this and say, hey, I've been here for so long, I deserve a raise. And those people who are complaining usually were never high performers in life in anything at all. It doesn't mean you have to be a high performer to tap into this right now. You do not have to be, but I'm just saying, be aware of that and don't get infected by those people because those are the people that you will see that get fired, they get replaced. That's just the bottom line. So as the business owner, and this is something that you have to make sense of and that those people don't typically understand is this. The business owner is the one that's taking all of the risks. He's the one putting his name on all their agreements, the office and everything, right? If the business stops producing cash flow, he's at risk. He's not going to get paid, right? And as an employee, they get all of the upside. You get all of the upside because you get a piece of the revenue every two weeks. So as an employee, you just have to go ahead and understand this is how it works. And there are ways to separate yourself from the mediocre people that are working with half a brain. And the solution is easy. You just bring solutions to the table. And there's even a world where you do this, you skill up and you bring so much value to the business owner that they make you a partner. Maybe they give you rep share, maybe they give you profit share. And now you're in a situation where you have all the upside potential with not as much risk. Now, don't get me wrong. There's other paths that you can take if you want to go ahead and you know have exponential growth, but they do take on more risk. You're going to be moving in that other direction of being the business owner. And either way, if you look at yourself in the long term, whether you want to go down that path of you know getting increases in Pay and really locking yourself in a position where you have true security, you have to get real skill sets that allow you to bring more money to the company that you're working with to really solidify your future earning potential.